All right. So, what I've learned is you get a better uh, lower aperture. Of course, if you uh, have a wider open lens. So I'm at 33 at f/8. Okay, right in the middle of 16 through 50. Okay. Might be 33 and a half, I don't know, but 33 is close enough. So, 5.6, 8, 5.0, it is cloudy, and this is the most I've seen the aperture change. F10, F11. So, it looks like I hit the sweet spot on this thing. So, you notice that uh, it gets dark because I'm going toward the sun. But as I move away from it, it'll get better. You know, like if it goes under or behind a cloud, then the aperture goes down. If I'm hitting, you know, if the sun was out and there was no cloud, then uh, you get a different aperture. But everything should be clear. I decided to do uh, 33 millimeters today. So I mailed out two lenses this morning to a friend of mine in Arizona. F mount, Nikon glass or Tamron glasses. Um, it's the 24 to 70 and the 70 to 200 f2.8 version 2 or the G2 on both of them. And I'm going to be getting me the uh, f2. Point, well. I'm thinking of the S-Line, so I can get one for $1,600 uh, used on the 24 to 70. And I'll leave it at there. Um, I'm not going for the longer lens. I know the 70 to 200 is excellent, but I got the 24 to 120. So I'll just use that. I don't need the 24 to 70 because I think the 24 to 120 is much better. And uh, I was looking at the 35 to 150, but that looks like a heavy lens. I am looking at the 1 to 400, and I am looking at the 180 to uh, 600. shocked that I got my uh, thing for Matarama already, unless it's the lens, which is okay too. If it's the 11 millimeter, I'll take it on the inside and redo my inside of the house again. battery grip, I'll do that also. And if I get both of them, because it says Adorama, they sent it to you. So I think that's the lens, all right? The Amazon one is uh, battery grip. I would have gotten the Canon batter grip, then I would have the extra buttons and stuff when you turn the camera on. I just want to try it out. See, I, I got a dummy battery for the R8, so I have no problem with that.
thinking. Is if I get like the R5 or the R5 Mark II. See what the, the price is. I was looking at the R3. Three kind of reminds me of, well, it doesn't have the AK, but it reminds me of, uh, what is it, the uh, A93, A92. Uh, I think it's A92. A93 hasn't come out yet. leaning to the right a little bit. That's 33. Does it look sharp? The air conditioning down the two. It's 96 degrees, so that's not too bad. I can deal in the 90s. The 100s is a problem. It was 101 yesterday. There's a reason why I didn't go outside.
stuff like that. But what do you think of the cloud formation in the sky? It's all F11 again. If it gets dark, it goes to F clock. Right now it's F9. It's amazing. F9, F10, F11. It's looking pretty good. It stays at 1 125th of the shutter speed. And the ISO is at 200 instead of 100 like it was this morning. So I've never seen uh, bunch of stuff. The ISO is staying at 200 basically. The shutter will go from 60 to 125 and then uh, the aperture is the one that's moving. Anywhere from F5 to F11 on the stops. F stops. But this is the kit lens, folks. Had it right in the middle. So I've done it at 16, 20, 24, 28, 30. This one's at 33. Then it at 35. Then it at 40. And I've done it at 50. most I've done on the kit lens. Basically, uh, if you don't need an EBF and you're just taking pictures of your family and stuff, this is the camera you get. It does everything for you. I think with the kit lens, I think it's $800. One Mark II, which is smaller, point shoot camera. We do 4K 30, no record time limit. You just put in uh, a terabyte SD card in there, and you just go to town. You get a good dummy battery because uh, the small battery is not going to last long. So, right now, this one's plugged into the 110 volt. The only reason why I don't have it in the studio is because the HDMI port does not work. That's okay. So this is a mobile camera. And uh, Peter is using his ZV-10 for the same purpose. Of course, he didn't go to his brother's. Uh, this weekend, I think they went to uh, a restaurant. my mailbox to see if uh, they got a new one up.
flake. So if you like this type of content, please give me a like, subscribe. Any comments or questions, put it down in the comment section below. Thank you for watching. And remember, stay safe, keep smiling. Until next time, I shall see you then. Goodbye.